farm today's the lesson is to do everything with intention um i can't say as lee does anything with intention um anyway i had four rows of wood lined up here and he was clearing that tree and he decided that he wanted to take this wood for the firewood and burn it before he burned the outer areas now um, I have actually started to clean all of this up. This was also gone, and this was just like a big hole here. Um, except for this. I haven't cleaned any of this up. This is about how he left it. So this morning, I come out with the pig, um, and normally we just, the door's right here, and she comes out, and the first thing she has to do is, is from being in her kennel, she doesn't like to pee or poo in there, so she comes out, and she always just potties. There she is. There's Miss Buttercup. Huh. And uh, she normally comes out, she pees and poos and all that. Well, this morning when I got up, um, the donkey was right here blocking the way. Uh, it's a miniature donkey. So pig comes running out, goes to go in her pen, donkey's there, donkey spooks, runs in there, and then feels trapped. Um, normally the donkey isn't standing like right here. I mean, you see one little pile of poo. It's not an everyday thing. He just was here. I don't know what the deal was. But anyway, um this is an animal trap and not cool so i will be spending my very windy cold day out here i'm already working up a sweat i had to get rid of the the jacket it's like i don't know 30s maybe i don't know rj's bundled up out there in a jacket and a hoodie and everything trying to sharpen the axe so i can get some of this cut um but the truth is stack your wood with intention know what's going to happen when you create that little animal trap there there's sheep and goats out here the dog could have been out there um needless to say it was an accident waiting to happen and i'm going to keep it from happening um i gotta go check the donkey later this afternoon make sure he's not sore um because he did jump straight up from there and clear all the way out here and i don't know that he landed square um rj said it was something that he never would have believed unless he saw it so my little baby's out there and I'm going to keep it from happening again. I, I just cannot believe that um, Lee didn't listen to me. I asked him not to take from the center. Remember, anything an animal will get into, look at the cat. It's just intriguing to them. So they're going to go in there. It, common sense tells us to stay out. They, they don't. So do it with intention. Intentionally know where your kindling's going to go, where your big wood's going to go. And my lord, we got enough wood. We could have gone anywhere. He didn't have to take from right there. So, anyway, just my little rant or lesson of the day. Stack your firewood with intention. Know where you're taking it, what your size is, and make sure it's not an animal death trap. Okay, so I cleaned up everything that was out here that was a mess. And I moved everything in here and stacked two rows. And part of this row. And I still have this gap because the wood is not the same width as what I was putting back in there. Um, I guess what was in there was longer. I don't know. Anyway, or it wasn't stacked as good. So we have this gap. It's too short for wood to go in there. Um, but to deter what happened this morning, I have created this little fence here that is easily removed. It's one of the, um, or part of the, uh, pins that we use for our petting zoo. So it's just kind of put up there. It should deter Murphy from going in there and by the time that winter's done this wood won't even be here and it won't be an issue so I realize it's temporary but let's not get the horses or donkeys or anything hurt in the process is my thought anyway there's my rant for the day now I'm done <laughs>